What up, YouTube? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. Before I begin, I'd like you guys to subscribe, like, especially like the video, share it, and comment down below. All right, let's get to it. I'm not going to hold you guys up too much longer. So, recently, um, I made a couple of videos about Kawhi Leonard, right? And the whole load management and how that's going. Um, there was an article somewhere that I read. I don't remember where I read it at. That was the thing. Because it was, it was um, something I just read. And I was sitting there waiting around for doing something. And I read it. And I forgot where I found it at. But it was something about load management. And how it came to be. There's a couple of articles on there. But what I read in this article. They said. The article said that load management is more detrimental to the players more than playing 82 games back to back to back and I thought about it and it might be true because you think about it you got to think about it like this so a player low management or sits out games for like 10 games or six games at a time like that and then they go back and play and then they go back to doing low management here's the deal with that the body the body can't go from I wouldn't say not doing anything, but not being active like that and then go back to being active like that. You know what I mean? I think the body has to continue to be active. Can't sit too long, much longer, if you guys get my get what I'm trying to say. I'm no medical expert here. <laughs> but I'm just taking it from what I have been through. I've been active all my life, right? And I've seen some... And there has been times when I haven't been active and I tried to like get back out there you know what I mean and he ended up hurting so and I think it's more crucial to players sitting on the bench all the time than more than playing you gotta think let's say you know, I was, let's say this back in the day you had NBA players who played almost 82 games right and they did that for most of their career. You never, never heard of Jordan having any big time injuries. Charles Barkley have any big time injuries? Like he did have Mike with the foot early on, but ever since that foot, he he was on it. And then you know they've been known for playing with knick knack injuries and all kinds of injuries, and they kept playing through it. I think some of these NBA players now probably might have to do what they did back then in order to avoid these big time injuries. And also, I think another thing goes into it, and I think I have to shout out to Rolf of Sports for pointing this out. And I, I have to agree, because I actually, it has happened to me. I think some people, some players, I think they practice or train too hard in the summertime during the off season, and they don't really give their body any time to rest. Right? I think mostly probably getting themselves two three to three weeks to rest and they go right back into any training and training hard and end up into the off season i think what two raw was trying to say i think some of these players probably need to take like a month or a month and a half off let their bodies just rest yeah you may get out of shape for a minute but it's better than continuously keep training and never giving your joints and ligaments and tendons and muscles time to rest so when the season get here, that's why I'd be seeing these ACL injuries, all kinds of weird injuries. It might be true. And the reason why I say it happened to me because I never let my body rest and get injuries. Now I do, especially as I'm getting older. Now I do. Take it easy, know when not to. You gotta, like, you gotta listen to your body, know when to rest and when not to rest. You get what I'm saying? And I think some of these NBA players know how to got to do that like for nfl players yeah they got to get themselves some time then they get back into it injuries are going to happen catastrophic injuries are going to happen like the nfl because the nfl is a football is a real sport basketball on the way i don't think they need to be training like that especially they be training now you training training how to jump higher and everything try to be more athletic it's ridiculous basketball Yes, being athletic does help, but they probably need to 
work on learning the game more mentally. Because basketball is just not, not to go off subject, basketball is just not running and jumping up and down the court. Basketball is also like a chess game when you play offense and defense, right? It's more ment- It's more mental than it is physical. Not saying that the people have to be in shape and be athletic. Not saying that. But I think these players probably need to study more film, train more mentally than try to work on everything else. I think that's what sometimes what people don't get that separates the old NBA from the new. And when I mean new, talk about today's, even 10, 20 years ago, it separates from today's NBA. But my final conclusion, uh, I think less load management, more playing. Now, if you hurt, you can get hurt while you're playing, you hurt. Get it. But if you able body, ain't nothing wrong with you, you need to go out there and play. You need to go out there and play because right now, um, you got these kids out here hoping to go see their favorite player, and their favorite player ain't playing when they go out there. And that was their one time to see it. So, um, I was going to say something else. That's what I was going to say. Dang it. I hate when I think of something and I forget about it. But yeah, if you're able body, go out there and play. Stop with this low management crap. Especially with these younger players. They got Luke on low management. Luke is only 23, 22. He need to be on low management for it. Now I understand. Let's say I understand if you're a little bit older than yet. But like in your 30s, like a LeBron, then probably yeah. But even then. Um, I remember KG, KG said low management was going on when he was playing his prime. He was been playing longer. But. Those are the type of players that play 82 games. But anyways, tell me what you guys think about load management. Is it necessary or these players should try to play when they're not hurt instead of sitting